Hello, my name is Mark Demeter, and I am the Microbial Services Manager here at OSP Microcheck. This will be a short instructional video on how to use our LifeCheck ATP Hygiene Submission Kits. These test kits are used to validate the hygiene of your workplace. I have with me here today a five sample submission kit of LifeCheck ATP Hygiene, and I'm going to go through it and demonstrate how to swab a common touch surface. In this case, I'm going to use the steering wheel of our warehouse's forklift. So when you receive your kit, It'll be boxed or packaged in such a way that includes everything that you're going to need to do to collect the sample and submit it for ATP testing. So when we unbox this, we will find a set of instructions, so the same steps that we're going to be showcasing here. We will find a sample submission form, which we're going to fill out after we've taken our sample. Five swabs that we are going to use to swab the surface. A soak reagent that we use to wet the swab pair of nitrile gloves so that you can do this in a clean fashion and inside this bag you will find five reagent X tubes. These are the uh, tubes that your finished swab is going to be transported in. So the first thing I'm going to do is put on my nitrile gloves. I want to make sure that the surface I'm testing isn't contaminated with anything that might be on my skin. The next step is I'm going to take one of my swabs. I can see that the swab tip is down here, so I want to open the package from this end up here. So open the package, discard that. I like to get a little bit ready by just kind of cracking the lid on my soaker agent. And then I can twist and pull open my swab tube. So I definitely do not want to touch the end of this swab. That would contaminate my sample. I'm going to finish opening the lid on my soak reagent, dip my swab in here, and now I'm going to come over to my high touch surface area or my common area that I want to test. Uh, again, I'm doing this to ensure that the hygiene measures in place are doing what we want them to do. So the steering wheel and the gear levers are surfaces that are routinely cleaned uh, as part of our best hygiene practices, and I want to ensure that those practices are doing their job using my LifeCheck ATP hygiene. So in this exercise, I'm actually going to be swabbing the steering wheel. And to do that, I've got my pre-wetted swab. And I'm just going to move the swab over the surface of the steering wheel, maybe a little underneath there where the finger grips are, changing the orientation of my swab and rotating it so that I'm using the total surface area of the swab. And once it looks a little bit drier, that's an indication that my swabbing is complete and I'm ready to place the swab tip into my reagent X tube. One thing to keep in mind with a surface area like this that we routinely test is to ensure that you're testing approximately the same surface area each time so that from time point to time point your test results are comparable. I'm going to come back to my reagent X tube, open it, place the lid down again without touching that tip to anything, and now I'm going to place the swab inside of the reagent X tube. I like to go about halfway. I hold the swab shaft against the edge of the tube with one finger, and then I can bend the shaft until it breaks letting that go so that the swab is inside that reagent X liquid and securing the cap tightly in place. So this stuff is all garbage at this point. And now the next thing I need to do is label my reagent X tube so that when I submit it to OSP, they know what they're testing. So on the tube, I'm just going to put forklift and I'm going to fill out my sample submission form with some of the same information. I'm going to fill out all the uh, pertinent information, including my organization, contact name, contact email, and then in the sample description, I'm going to have forklift steering wheel, the date sampled and the time, and then sign off and submit it. Once you've completed all the testing that you wish to do, uh, you want to submit these as soon as possible to OSP. So to do that, you have a couple different options. You can ship this off to OSP using your own preferred method, or if you like, we will actually provide you with, for purchase, some prepaid envelopes and packaging so that you can simply put your Rage and X tube in that provided packaging and have it shipped off immediately.